Hello, Internet, and I got a lot of thoughts today about Comics CC because things have been all over my mind and I don't know quite what to make of it yet, so I'm just going to kind of ramble through it and see what you think. Um, first and foremost, and most importantly to me today, was the news that at Denver Comic Con, something that I helped with in the past but refused to go to now because of bad voodoo and various things, had a panel today about female comic creators and failed to invite any females. Now I understand sometimes when you're setting up these panels there's some oversight, maybe things could have been set up a little bit better, but there's certain things that if you have a synapse firing should just connect and bringing a woman to a female driven panel to talk about the females within the comic space just is so obvious. It, it's more than a mistake. It's, it's a pain. And I understand small things happen from time to time, and if you understand anything about managing a convention, you understand things happen at the last minute, and things get caught, and then things need to be changed on the fly, and, some, and you plan for what you can ahead of time, but this is one of those things that you just need to see before the time has arrived. And I just find that it's a little beyond what can be acceptable for something that's raking in that amount of money in the name of supposed charity, but that's a different issue, you see. And I know the exact person who sets up these kinds of things, and it was supposed to be my duty once upon a time to help him with these things, so I take it a little more than personally. And uh, now that it's happened again, I find myself personally invested, even though I had nothing to do with it this time, because I disconnected myself years ago as I was disconnected from that years before and ah here we are here we are again and this convention every year has mistakes on a scale usually larger than this but that could have always been avoided just as easily and ah it just hurts me to my core and people are trying to defend it and trying to say, well, they made it up the next day with an impromptu thing that was basically thrown together by the fans and they just let it happen because obviously it's good PR, but oh man, they should have seen it coming before. And so it rattled me and it rattled me more when I publicly put out that I felt this way and people are trying to shout me down telling me how it's supposed to be when I know a lot more clear than they because a, I've been in that space just generally, but also in this case specifically, and know, know that there was talent at the panel, maybe not publicly known on a national level, but I know the people who were in that convention space, and all they would have had to do to have them on that panel was ask politely. So that set me off today. But here we are. And I was trying to move on, trying to continue, and something came up and it got me thinking about the price of comics again and what it's worth versus what it's worth to me. And I kind of got pushed in a different way, but something positive came my way today in that light as a site you may or may not know called The Humble Bundle, usually for video game related things. Today on one of their various offerings, put forth again, but I think this one is worth noting once more, a digital comic bundle of many titles that I think would be worth your while and worth checking out and considering you can grab a whole bundle for relatively cheap, what would normally cost you to pick up just one of these titles, I find very interesting in the way that digital comics should be distributed very cheaply, very consumer friendly because digital comics are essentially just digital files, PDFs assembled that once it's done, the work's been done, you need to pay your artists and you need to pay a little bit for the setup and the distribution, but that should be minimal change compared to paying for the talent and the art and the blood that went into it. And here we are in a way where I don't know what the creator's cuts are going to be, and there's no way to know until this whole offering's done, but a little bit also goes to charity. And we're seeing it come out this way, and 
it's a great way to dive into some comics you might have not read otherwise. And I'm not trying to just do a commercial for this thing, but I'm trying to say that this is a state, a show of where the industry could be closer to being and gaining the numbers it needs to be a part of culture and not a niche. And so things like comicsology and stuff can learn a lesson, but as long as they're tied to print stores, they'll never advance. And I find that a shame, but what are you going to do when the industry has them held down by the pants? I don't know. So, but I kind of went along and today at the comic shop was super interesting because it was so quiet and you learned to take so many things for granted so many things and I'm used to walking to my shop and seeing certain faces and um, certain, a lot of the talent of the shop just quit um, someone who I would even consider a friend of mine was working there and no longer is and it's just kind of that sadness of loss but the owner wasn't there as well and instead um, only one guy I knew and some of the new girls working there which is great but it's a change of pace and it was so quiet so quiet today I'm used to seeing more bodies in there I guess with the convention it just wasn't happening and that's all well and good but um it, it, it just felt hollow today and, and it hit me harder than it maybe should and as I was going at it I promised myself I was going to pick up a couple Marvel titles um the sort of things that you come here to see right and I got the Spider-Verse and the Secret Wars Woo-ha! but what hit me was that at five dollars a pop these titles are not worth the coin because whereas they are 30 printed pages but they have to divide the tails past um what would be a 22 page comic that you're used to and yeah it's just not it's not an event it's not an oversized book really this is uh beyond the pale and if this is what we're expecting for just standard affair this is pushing it far past the limit um i was looking at a pile of trades today to pick up online and to get a trade collection was only a couple dollars more and that's ridiculous um especially compared to the titles that really stuck with me today which were um true of course it's winding getting ready to wind down and it's blowing me away but what really picked up my spirits today was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 46 um, a book that I always praise but today hit me even more special because as I turned to past the final page I saw that my letter was printed so I was pretty excited so if you do partake in this book um, feel free to take a look and see what letter was printed of mine. It's the first one there. There you are. Um, quite a day for me with comic experiences. Hope your day was better than mine, I guess, but so it continues. Hope to catch you all again soon with a real comic review.